Hey guys and welcome back to FU Academy. In today's video we will take a look at the FIRE concept which is short for Financial Independence Retire Early. So let's get right into it. For previous generations life used to follow a simple structure. In your early 20s you start working in a 9-to-5 job. Then you get married. A few years later, you have children. You continue working until you reach the retirement age in your 60s. Once you retire, you receive a state pension. Because the government will take care of you, right? I mean, after all, you dedicated the majority of your life grinding away at work. So, what do you do once you retire somewhere in your 60s? You could travel the world. You could volunteer. You could spend time with your family and friends. The only thing is, now you're too old. What wouldn't you give now to have some of that time back when you were full of energy, full of life? I'm not trying to be mean or hurtful. I'm just trying to be as rational as possible about this. The lucky ones that are still relatively healthy in their 60s have an average of about 15 years post the required retirement age. Usually, their state pension is just enough to cover their basic needs. Not more, not less. They can use the remaining energy level and mental strength to do their shopping, to cook for themselves, occasionally meet their remaining friends, and maintain a few hobbies here and there. The less fortunate ones could potentially need care assistance by the time they reach their retirement age. Their state pension is not enough it's not sufficient to cover their medical bills, their cost of living. They are dependent on family members and others to support them. What a way to spend the last chapter of your life after decades of hard work. Besides physical and mental health, there is another component to this. The transition from working to retirement life can be brutal for some people. Once you hit that retirement age, you would have spent about 70% of your life working, 20% in school, and the remaining 10% growing up or in kindergarten. Routine has always been your companion. You wake up, you work, you consume, you come home, you watch some TV, and you go to bed. In this cycle, it's exhausting to even try to think out of the box. This is intended. Society is built that way. We should work, consume, sleep, and repeat this process. But what if you don't want to do that? What if you don't want to live a life like this? The answer is easy. The answer is FIRE. FIRE stands for Financial Independence Retire Early. The term FIRE was first used in 1992 by Vicky Robin and Joey Dominguez in their book Your Money or Your Life. The concept of FIRE is super, super simple. You spend less than you earn and you invest the difference in low fee investments like index funds. Over time, you then try to increase your savings rate even more. Let's look at the first component here, spending less. It's not about extreme frugality, but living on a reasonable budget and making reasonable purchase decisions. Start asking yourself if that new pair of jeans for $100 brings you long-term happiness and satisfaction. If you can answer this with a clear yes, then go for it, buy it. But if you are hesitant, better leave it. Now the second component is equally important. Invest the money that you saved. You take that money you would have spent on stuff and you save it. Once you save it, you then buy assets with it that ideally increase in value over time. Those assets can be physical, such as land, property, commodities, or precious metals. But they can also be financial assets, such as shares, index funds, and bonds. FIRE followers aim to put away a significant chunk of their net disposable income, around 15% and often more. You keep going like that for years, and eventually you reach the point at which the total value of your assets is so high that it can sustain your lifestyle. This value or number is also known as FIRE number. And remember, the two components of spending less and investing your saved money are connected with each other. 
Think about it like this. The less money you spend on stuff, the less money you need to invest in order to fund your cost of living in the future. Now, there are numerous variations of FIRE. Some people work part-time, whilst others start a business or a side hustle. Some people completely stop working. Here, you will find the most commonly used variations of FIRE. Let's start with Lean Fire. Lean Fire followers are the more extreme ones. The concept of FIRE is the same, but the journey to get there is very different. Lean Fire followers make huge sacrifices in order to reach their FIRE number super quickly. They are living in a more frugal lifestyle with more extreme savings. Now, the other extreme of the spectrum is Fat Fire. Fat fire refers to people that are pursuing fire whilst maintaining a high standard of living because they have gotten used to it. They simply don't want to live this extremely frugal lifestyle and they are willing to work a few years more and a few years longer to reach that fire number. And then there is barista fire, which refers to people who quit their high stress full-time job but still work part-time. They are withdrawing small amounts of their investment portfolio, but supplement it with a part-time income to cover parts of their living expenses. Most importantly, by working part-time, they can qualify for a healthcare plan that is generally much cheaper than the one that you can find on the open market on your own, which made Barista Fire very, very popular in recent years. And lastly, we have Coast Fire. Coast Fire followers have enough in their retirement accounts at a young age that without any further contributions will grow into a sustainable portfolio that will cover their retirement in the future. It essentially means that they don't touch their investments. They don't touch it for years to come. They dial back on employment to cover their expenses only. And once this investment portfolio has grown due to the magic of compounding interest, where it can cover their full expenses, they simply retire. Let us use an example to illustrate the plain vanilla fire concept. Let's take Mike. Mike studied computer science. After graduating from uni, he gets his first job as a software engineer. He does the standard cubicle job. This all sounds pretty average until now, but oh boy, Mike is very different from the average person. Mike doesn't behave like most of us do when getting our first job going out, spending most of our money, because it's just so exciting to finally have an income after all of those years in uni. But Mike is different. Mike feels no FOMO. And Mike just follows his own path. He continues to live as frugal as a student. He doesn't buy a fancy new car. He doesn't constantly go for expensive dinners, offer drinks and super cool and hip bars. He actually still cycles to work and brings his own lunch. With this lifestyle, he managed to save an incredible 60% of his net disposable income. He invests that money straight into assets like properties and ETFs. Just to be clear, he does all of that without earning a fortune. In fact, over his career, his average salary was $67,000. Please don't get me wrong here. This is not a low salary by all means, but it's also not outrageously high. In fact, according to OECD data, the average salary in the US for 2019 was $66,000. Pretty average, right? Mike keeps this lifestyle up for 10 years. When Mike turns 30, he realizes that the income of those assets is enough to sustain his lifestyle. Most of his colleagues are already on way higher salaries, but they fail to build up any sort of net worth. The reason is simple and sad at the same time. With every salary increase, Mike's colleagues also adjusted their lifestyle and therefore their living expenses. Mike on the other side kept his frugal lifestyle and now he has the choice. He has the choice to stop working at the age of 30. He can retire and spend his remaining life as he wants. Mike is a real person. Mike's actual name is Peter Aideny. You might know him under the name Mr. Money Mustache. He's the driving force behind the FIRE movement. And he made the space of personal finance sexy. Like many people that reach fire, Mr. Money Mustache decides not to sit on the couch and watch TV all day. Instead, 
He focuses on projects that are meaningful to him and that add value to the world. Pretty cool, right? Now, as much as I strongly believe in the concept of fire, there are also some drawbacks of this concept that I will mention now in order to give you a balanced view on things. Let's take a look at some of them. Number one, the need of a high income. Now, here's the first big barrier to chasing fire. You need to have a large enough income. No matter how much you cut down your lifestyle, it's going to take you a relatively large income to have the ability to save enough money to retire in your 30s or 40s. But this should not discourage you from getting started to build your wealth. Every step towards it counts. Every dollar counts. According to Dave Ramsey, who conducted a survey on millionaires, it took the average millionaire 28 years to hit that million dollar mark. And most of them reached that milestone at the age of 49. Don't fall for the myth that you need a high paying job to build up enough wealth to retire early. It just takes persistence, dedication, and time. Number two drawback, enjoying present versus enjoying the future. People that are pursuing the more extreme lean fire are essentially putting the present on hold. Amazing experiences are delayed and opportunities that they can't get back are missed because they didn't fit into the savings plan. People can get so busy chasing the dream of fire that they miss making actual memories. And I have to agree with this point. And I have personally made the same mistakes. The present, the here and now, this is all we have guaranteed. The future is unknown. Anything can happen in the future. Be focused on your goals, but don't be so obsessed that you miss out on life. Make the journey worthwhile and enjoy your life with the people that you love. Number three drawback, rising costs of living. This is probably the most debated fire criticism out there. Medicine is evolving, we are living longer. And whilst we do so, healthcare, products and services, and therefore cost of living keeps growing. This is a very valid point, especially healthcare costs are a big, big question mark surrounding the fire concept. If you decide to leave the workforce altogether, then this is a cost that you will have to cover on your own, which, depending from which country you are living in or you want to retire in, can be very expensive. Rising costs are the reason why you should invest your money in assets that increase in value over time and outpace inflation. I will make a video very soon in which I will go through all of those asset classes. All of the concerns just mentioned are relevant, sure, but none of them should stop you from getting started. Think about the drawbacks and consider them in your plan to achieve fire. Okay, so we learned that the fire concept is actually super simple. Spend less than you earn and invest the difference in low fee investments like index funds. Over time, you then try to increase your savings rate even more. You do that until you reach the point at which the total value of your assets is high enough to sustain your lifestyle. For those in the FIRE movement, financial independence doesn't just mean sitting on a tropical beach or watching TV all day. It means reaching the point where you don't have to work a full-time job if you don't want to. You can scale back to a part-time job, or you can focus on projects that are meaningful to you and that add value to the world. Some of those that reach fire actually decide to continue their normal working life because they genuinely like what they are doing. The point is, the choice is yours. You get to choose when, where, how, and most importantly with who you want to work with. By retiring early, you can become time rich. Not in your 60s, not in your 70s, but at your prime. You can get to choose how you want to spend every minute of your life. As Mr. Money Mustache once described it, retirement is earning the privilege of being free to enjoy the balanced lifestyle of our dreams without working for a living getting in the way too much. You don't have to quit working altogether. You just have to feel secure enough to be choosy about your work and your schedule. 
And if you're still not convinced, here is why the world needs more people to join the FIRE movement. The world has some serious problems out there. Climate change, food waste, lack of food, lack of education, income inequality, racism, the list goes on and on. The world needs the brightest people to think about how to tackle those problems rather than working in a cubicle for more than 40 years, grinding away at work just to increase the profits of the company they work for? Are your corporate achievements and your professional career really the only thing that you want to be remembered for? Create choices. Become time rich. Discover the joy of work that is not motivated by money and start solving some of those problems in the areas that fascinate you. So I hope this video could help you to get a better understanding of the FIRE concept, how it works, for who it works, and what the benefits are. Leave a like on the video if you did enjoy the content or found it useful. Also make sure to subscribe to this channel. I'm just getting started and it's the easiest and most helpful way to support this channel. So thank you very much for doing that and I'll see you in the next video.